God's story, Jesus is alive. So part of God's story is about how Jesus is alive. And it goes like this. Jesus taught people what it means to be a part of God's kingdom and how we should love our enemies, put others above ourselves, and spend time with God. He did all kinds of amazing miracles like healing people and walking on water and forgiving our sins. Jesus was the long-awaited rescuer that God's family had been waiting for. But some people didn't like what Jesus was doing. They didn't believe he was the son of God, so they made a plan to stop him. They arrested Jesus, put him on trial, and treated him like a criminal, even though he had never done anything wrong. Soldiers beat him and made fun of the idea that he was a king. They put a crown of thorns on his head and nailed him to a cross. Jesus was on the cross as people watched and waited until finally, Jesus said, Father, I place my life into your hands. There was an earthquake. The sky went dark, even though it was the middle of the day. And at that moment, Jesus died. Jesus' followers were brokenhearted. How could this happen? How could their long-awaited rescuer be gone? Some women who knew Jesus, like Mary Magdalene and Mary, Jesus' mom, were there when he died and helped a man named Joseph of Arimathea wrap Jesus in clean linen cloth and place him in a new tomb that was cut out of a rock. A big stone was rolled in front of the entrance so no one could get in or out. A few days later, some of the women went to visit the tomb, but when they got there, the stone had been moved and Jesus was gone. An angel from God was there and said, do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen just as he said he would. The women couldn't believe it. Was Jesus really alive? Then Mary Magdalene turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she didn't know it was Jesus. He asked her why she was crying. And she said, sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you've put him and I will get him. And Jesus said to her, Mary. Then she suddenly recognized it was Jesus. She said, Rabbi, which means teacher. Then the other women saw Jesus and Jesus said, greetings. The women were filled with so much joy that they hugged Jesus and worshiped him right on the spot. Jesus told them not to be afraid and to go tell the disciples that he was alive. When the women told the disciples what had happened, they didn't believe it, so Peter and John ran to the tomb as fast as they could. They went inside and saw some of the clothes Jesus had been buried in, but no Jesus, the tomb was empty. Later, Peter and John and the rest of the disciples were in a locked room when Jesus appeared. He showed them his scars to convince them that he really was alive. At first, they were afraid, but once they realized that he was real, they were overjoyed. He also appeared to some of them again when they were fishing on the Sea of Galilee, and he even ate with them. And later, Jesus appeared to over 500 people. Jesus told the disciples he would leave soon, but he also said he would send the Holy Spirit to be with them and help them, and that one day, he will come back and make everything new. Then Jesus was taken up to heaven. This was God's plan all along. Jesus died on the cross and then proved he really is the son of God by coming back to life. And he's still alive today. Now, if we choose to follow Jesus, God forgives us for all the wrong things we do because Jesus already took our punishment. And no matter what we do or where we go, Jesus will always be with us. And that's the story of how Jesus is alive. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Jesus was the son of God. Not everyone believed him. They arrested and beat Jesus. He died on a cross. He was buried. Women found his empty tomb. An angel told them Jesus was alive. Jesus appeared to the women, the disciples, and many others. Jesus was alive and he's still alive today. And that's a part of God's story.